Now if you just bought a new computer and it has Windows 7 installed on it, the first time you turn it on or boot it up, it'll probably ask you a bunch of questions to help you set up your first user account and maybe even a password to protect that account. If not, then I'll show you how to create a password for your account so nobody else can have access to your computer without that password. By the same token, if you want other people to have access to this computer but not log in under your account, you can go ahead and create additional accounts for them so they have their own user login name and password. So that way they can't see what you're working on when you log in and you can't see what they're working on unless of course you're the administrator. In any case, to be able to set all this up, just come down here, click on the start button, go over here and click on the control panel, and then come up and click on add or remove user accounts. You can see I've got three accounts that I set up, all administrators here. Then I've got the default guest account, which is turned off, and it's turned off on your computer unless you want to turn it on. This is basically for people that need to use the computer real quick, and you don't want to go through the problems of setting up a separate account for them. Again, they're just a guest, and basically it keeps them in that account. They can't go out and go into these other accounts and change them because they're not administrators, so that's good. In any case, let's go ahead and create a new account. Let's say I have my son Billy who wants to be able to log on to this computer and have his own account. To do that, just come down here and click on Create a New Account. Up at the top, go ahead and type in his name. And then down below, you've got two choices. I can either make him a standard user or an administrator. Of course, the administrator has complete access to the computer, including my account. I don't like that. Whereas the standard user can use most of the software and make some changes to the settings, but when they make changes, it doesn't affect other users like me or the security of the computer. So I'll keep him as standard. I'm going to come down here and click on Create Account. And there's the default image for Billy, and he's a standard user as opposed to my administrators here. Well, over here. Now if you notice that these other accounts here, these three, are password protected. Billy isn't. So click on his icon here, and let's go ahead and create him a password. Keep it something simple like, for him, password, type in password, and then type in a hint to pass a word. You'd probably be amazed how many people use generic passwords like ABC123. Keep it something that makes sense to you and not so generic so anybody else can hack your computer here. And then when you're done, go ahead and click on create a password. And that's it. Now it's password protected. And then of course when I'm done with my session, as we learned in an earlier training video, come down here, click on the start button, come over here, click on the arrow next to shutdown, and I can go ahead and log off, in which case I get the login screen, and I'll have, well, the four icons. I'll have Kershaw's Dreamforce Training and then Billy. So when Billy wants to use the computer, he just clicks on his icon, which will look like this, Billy, and then types in his password. And then he can come here to the, again, control panel, which if I come up here and click on it, again, add or remove user accounts. Of course, don't forget it's start to control panel, but since it's here, I can just use the address bar, right, and go to add or remove user accounts, and then he'll only have access to be able to change his here, so he can click on his, and then if he doesn't like his picture, come over here and click on change the picture. He really doesn't have a good selection here, in which case, he can click on browse for more pictures, so any pictures that you have on your computer, you can go ahead and update the uh, default picture here. I'm going to come up here, go to the desktop, and I know I have some pictures in the exercises. Double click on that. Ooh, the castle. That sounds fun. Double click on that, and there we go. We got the castle for Billy. Oh, that's pretty. And then I'll let you look over these other options. I think they're pretty self explanatory, like deleting the account. Well, you can't delete the account that you're logged into, so you have to log out into another account to delete this account. Change the account type. Again, do you want to make him an administrator? No. I'll click back. Setting up parental controls, well, we're going to cover that in the next training video, and the least of which is that you can only set up parental controls for standard users. I mean, you wouldn't want to set them up for administrators because, well, administrators, that's the purpose, to have access to everything, whereas standard user, you want to be able to control what they can do on the computer, and we can get more controlling here with parental controls. And then, of course, the passwords here, and, and then, of course, change the account name if he doesn't like Billy. And then don't forget, when you manage another account here, that when you start your computer and it sets up your account by default, you probably want to make sure it's password protected. So go ahead and select your account and then click on create a password. I already have it created, so the best I can do is change it or remove it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up.
You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.